Equides Property Fund has spent 732 million rand on a majority stake in a joint venture with ESCOM's Pension and Provident Fund. The venture will see the entities acquire a logistics campus from DSV Real Estate valued at just over 2 billion rand and then conclude a long-term lease with DSV Solutions. Company CEO Andrea Taverna Churisan joins us now. He calls the JV a marriage made in heaven. Andrea, thanks so much for joining us today. So I've spelt out some of the details here but give us some of the detail on what exactly we're looking at and uh, why you've decided to explore this funding route in particular so i mean what we're looking at is we are looking at probably the most sophisticated logistic campus in 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 sub-saharan africa it is a a massive commitment from dsv uh, to south africa um, what they've developed and the quantum of technology that they've put into the facility is second to none. Uh, we're obviously very pleased uh, to have done the deal. Uh, we're obviously also um, have done many deals with DSV historically, so we do understand their business model. We do understand um, you know, their needs and requirements. So I think uh, we are a trusted landlord for them. And over and above that, obviously, um, ESCOM Pension Fund we're looking for opportunities to place capital in, um, in direct property opportunities. Uh, we approached them with an idea. I mean, this was almost probably a year ago, maybe even more than a year ago. So it, it, it's been a long time coming, but obviously extremely pleased to have got it over the line. And, and I think uh, our partners at EPPF are, are also ecstatic with the, with the deal. I know that you say that this has been a long time in the making, Andrea, but uh, while you call this uh, a marriage made in heaven, how much of a matchmaker has EPPF's chief investment officer, Ndabazintlem Kize, played? He's been appointed non-executive director of Equites from October the 1st. That's correct. I mean, I think, uh, um, I mean, Ndabi's appointment to Equites' board uh, has really got nothing to do with this transaction. Um, and Derby came through a process with an external consultant to identify suitable candidates for our board. Uh, he came through a process and was was, short, was on the short list that eventually got interviewed by Nomscom. And I must say, uh, a, a, a truly, a, a truly uh, fantastic individual uh, and, and a great addition to our board, notwithstanding this deal. I mean, he, the, 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 as I said, the appointment was certainly not subject to this deal happening. Yeah. So, Andrea, your commitment stands at 732 million rand for a 51% stake in the venture. And I know you highlight that the EPPF uh, has been on uh, the scout to diversify its investments overall. And this was a natural fit here. But uh, how easy a sell was it to EPPF? Yeah, I mean, nothing's easy. <laughs> if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Um, so, but, but at the same time, I think it, it, it ticked all the boxes for, for, for EPPF, and, uh, and, but we still have to go through a process. We've done an extensive due diligence, um, which, which, uh, which we, we hope to finalize and complete um, within the next few days. Um, we, we've, we've not only looked at that, we've looked at the financial impacts. We, we put, we put the, the, the debt funding opportunity out to five institutions in South Africa, um, they all were asked to put their best foot forward, and uh, and and we were gobsmacked by uh, the the offers that were made by all the institutions. But obviously, like in all these things, there's always got to be a winner. And 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 I mean, I'm not I'm not at liberty to disclose who the funder is at this stage. But uh, but uh, but obviously, we're very pleased with the terms that were offered, and 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 um, and, and it just goes to show that that you know these these transactions of high quality real estate uh, still have got massive appetite from, from the banking fraternity and, 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 and there's great news I think for the property industry in general uh, but also great news for equities. We were talking about this last week, the opportunity that is out there in the uh, logistics space, Andrea. I mean, are you looking at quite a significant pipeline of acquisitions as we uh, close out this year? Well, I mean, I mean, <laughs> We, we, we're always looking. Uh, you know, we, our, our investment criteria are, are, are fairly strict. Uh, the, the, the type of, of, of assets that we are happy to pay for and, and own on our balance sheet are assets that 
really need to stand the test of time. And, and, uh, and more importantly, you know, we, we also are very critical in terms of the, the type of organizations that we are happy to keep as, as, as tenants. Um, and, 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 you know, I think that's been part of the success that we've had also during COVID in terms of the rental collections that we achieved and the stability of our portfolio during what has been a very trying time for a lot of people in a lot of industries, not just the property industry. Um, and I think, you know, this is another such property. I think it sits very comfortably in our portfolio. Our management team are going to look after this property impeccably. Um, and, and our asset management team will, 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 will do the same. And, yeah. and, you know, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a, a, a very good investment for both Equitas shareholders and the EPPF members. Well, we'll wait and see. Let's leave it there, Andrea. Thanks so much for having joined us on the line this evening. That, of course, Andrea Tavena, Churisan, who's CEO of Equitas.